For TV viewers of a certain age, there's no more universal a cultural touchstone than Boy Meets World. Before, during, and after the show's 1993 to 2000 run, its large cast experienced a fair amount of upheaval in their personal and professional lives. These are the secrets hidden by the Boy Meets World cast. The early 90s were a golden age for the hormone-charged, pubescent masses to obsess over swoon-worthy, non-threatening celebrity teen boys. Ryder Strong sent many a tween heart a flutter with his portrayal of Sean Hunter and the shaggy bull haircut that brought his character to life. But it turns out that the former teen heartthrob had a hard time adjusting to the attention and the grooming. When Cosmopolitan asked him in 2013 what it felt like to be a teen heartthrob, he admitted, I was never super comfortable with it, to be honest. I'm not a shy person, but I'm not the guy who wants to get his picture taken and want to be front and center. It would just be weird to go somewhere and have groups of girls scream and hyperventilate in front of you. To make matters worse, Strong also wasn't a big fan of one of the main reasons he was so beloved by screaming girls. He revealed, I hated my hair. I came to the audition with that hairstyle got the part, and the director, Michael Jacobs, never let me cut it from there on out. I wanted to cut my hair so bad, but the only time I got to was when we found out the show was going to be canceled. Yeesh! That means Strong had to keep that very 90s haircut until 2000, long after it went out of style. Danielle Fischel, a.k.a. Topanga Lawrence, has done all right for herself in the romance department. Her first marriage to her college math tutor may have ended in divorce, but then she married again in November 2018 to comedy writer Jensen Karp. And back in the late 90s, she dated a guy who was at the time considered one of the planet's most desirable men, pop star Lance Bass. In her 2014 memoir, Normally This Would Be Cause for Concern, Fischl explained that she met the blonde-tipped boy band singer at a live TGIF special. The two later hit the town for a date at a taping of a Celine Dion Christmas special, and the rest was history. Well, not quite. They ended up dating for a year and a half and even attended Fischl's high school prom together, but things ultimately didn't work out. Fischl later realized why when Bass came out to her, and the rest of the world, as a gay man. When Boy Meets World debuted in 1993, the best-known actor in the cast was William Daniels, who portrayed the prickly but lovable Mr. Feeney. An accomplished performer, he first appeared on Broadway in the 50s, before transitioning over to television, where he won an Emmy for his work on the medical drama Saint Elsewhere. And perhaps most impressively, he voiced the talking car Kit on the action series Knight Rider. Daniel's showbiz experience apparently imbued him with a dignity bordering on arrogance, as he revealed in his 2017 memoir, There I Go Again. He initially had little interest in playing Mr. Feeney, stating, At a meeting with the show's author and executive producer, Michael Jacobs, I told him I didn't want to play a high school teacher who's made to look foolish for the sake of some cheap laughs. After Jacobs promised he would never have him play an idiot, Daniel signed on. But when he attended the show's first table read, he hated his character's story so much that he quit the show. After a hasty rewrite of that first script, Daniels then thankfully unquit. Every sitcom needs a happy dumb guy, and for Boy Meets World, that character was Corey's older brother, Eric Matthews. Will Friedel played the role with exuberant relish, and he later parlayed his TGIF stint into a nice career that's consisted of romantic comedies, guest spots on other sitcoms, and voicing characters like Batman in Batman Beyond and Nightwing in numerous animated Batman projects. In fact, his post-Boy Meets World career has overwhelmingly consisted of voice acting gigs, ever since he was diagnosed with an anxiety disorder that precluded live-action performances. At a Boy Meets World panel at the 2018 New York Comic Con, Fridell revealed, I was planning to do more on-camera work, but then I got hit with these anxiety attacks that prevented me from doing that. I was so thankful I had voiceover because I could still perform and act. Friedel's face and body haven't been completely absent from screens in recent years, as he reprised the role of Eric for a few episodes of the Boy Meets World spin-off, Girl Meets World. Corey and Topanga were hashtag couple goals, years before social media was even a thing. The central storyline of Boy Meets World was, of course, the slowly developing relationship between the two. It evolved from junior high classmates who didn't like each other, to friends, to boyfriend and girlfriend, to finally husband and wife. When you know, you know, as the old saying goes, and Corey and Topanga knew so clearly that they got hitched before they were even old enough to buy beer. 
Even though the couple were clearly and always destined to be together, ABC initially objected to the producers' plans for the characters to marry at such a young age, as revealed by writer Strong in a 2011 Vanity Fair interview. Even Strong himself had his doubts. When asked if Corey and Topanga would have gotten divorced by that point, he declared that they probably would. But then he backtracked and quickly added, no, no, because the whole conceit of the show was that they were meant for each other. Indeed, had Corey and Topanga not stayed together and lived happily ever after, there never would have been the Disney Channel sequel series Girl Meets World, in which they're still together and raising two kids of their own. I love working with you. Thank you. Likewise. There's a particular type of role Matthew Lawrence has portrayed a number of times. The new character who arrives to save an aging TV show that's declining in popularity. He was the toddler Danny Carrington on Dynasty, then he was the abandoned child Matthew on Gimme a Break. Many years later, he showed up as Jack, Sean's formerly estranged half-brother on Boy Meets World. It turns out that the actor's own personal life has been equally dramatic. In 2006, Lawrence first met Dancing with the Stars Cheryl Burke. At the time, one of the show's celebrity contestants was Joey Lawrence, who TV fans know is Matthew's older brother. The younger Lawrence and Burke wound up dating for about a year, only to split up. When another Lawrence brother, Andy, was ambushed by TMZ, he revealed that Burke liked to drink and party more than her man did. But just like Corey and Topanga, these two were apparently meant to be, as they got back together in 2017. Lawrence proposed the following year in an elaborate ceremony that began with a love letter set out for Burke to read after a shower. When she looked up from reading, Lawrence was down on one knee. It just feels right. Yeah. Older, right. wiser, lot, a lot older. Ethan Supli is a familiar face and a versatile actor who has popped up in some high-profile movies and TV shows since the 90s. You might recognize him as the guy who couldn't figure out a magic eye poster in Mall Rats, or for his starring turn as the dim but sweet Randy on My Name is Earl. And of course, there was also his recurring role on Boy Meets World as Frankie, a school bully who eventually became pals with Corey and the gang. Frankie, like a lot of Suplee's roles, is a heavy-set guy, but in 2009, the actor shed a lot of weight. He revealed his fitness regimen on a 2016 episode of Entertainment Weekly's What to Watch podcast. As he described, I started obsessively riding bicycles. I actually did get properly thin at one point. I was 9% body fat. But when Suplee started to go for roles with his new, leaner frame, he just couldn't land them. He explained, I found that people were like, who are you? We don't know you. You're this new person. So a couple years ago, I made the decision. I'm not going to kill myself to be thin when nobody knows me as a thin person. And so I just kind of relaxed on my diet. It happens often enough to have become a cliche. Child actors often become washed up and out of work when they become teenagers or adults. However, that wasn't what happened to the Wizards' Jenny Lewis or Boy Meets World's Blake Sennett, who played the bully Joey the Rat Epstein on 16 episodes. Instead, these two teamed up to form Rilo Kylie, one of the most acclaimed indie rock bands of the 2000s. Alas, the group disbanded in 2011, and that breakup was about as civil and harmonious as a couple of teen characters from Boy Meets World calling it quits. In a 2011 interview with Consequence of Sound, Senate likened Rilo Kylie to a corpse that was, quote, laying on his back in a morgue with a tag on his toe. A few months later, he told Spinner that the band was decidedly finished, noting, I just felt like there was a lot of deception, disloyalties, greed, and things I don't really want to submit myself to. Have you heard the one about a former teen star best known for a 90s family-friendly sitcom accidentally upsetting the star of another 90s family-friendly sitcom over a remark about drugs? It's obviously a situation that almost everyone can relate to. In 2013, Danielle Fischel shared a headline-making anecdote from her TGIF days about the time she was on a private jet to Disney World along with her family and the guy who played Danny Tanner on Full House. As she relayed to Maxim, We were trying to take a nap and all of a sudden Bob Saget walks down the aisle, rips open our curtain and shouts, Do you guys have any coke? Then he looks my dad in the eye, laughs, and closes the curtain. For his part, Saget didn't appreciate what he thought were disparaging remarks, so he offered his own crude response to Maxim. What show was she on? Big chest, small wonder? That's the real size of her, by the way. She's kind of like Bilbo Baggins, very tiny. Saget went on to clarify that his cocaine comment was made in jest and that he was, quote, always making jokes. Meanwhile, Fischl called Maxim out for not publishing her story-capping remark, tweeting, 
Maybe you should have printed what I said at the end. We knew he was joking. It was funny. He didn't pick up on that. By and large, Boy Meets World was a gentle sitcom about middle-class, well-loved kids with kind, doting parents and teachers guiding them as they navigated the typical problems of young life. Unfortunately, that's far from the experience that William Daniels had back when he was just a boy meeting the world. The veteran actor opened up about his years as a child actor in his memoir, There I Go Again. He recalled a time when he was pushed by his mother to sing, dance, and act on numerous radio shows, and he had to work late into the night and over weekends. He revealed, When I started writing this book, I started seeing a psychologist who suggested that I was an abused child. I was shocked to hear such a description, that I had been robbed of a normal childhood, forced to perform and put into situations that I had no control over. Daniels also noted that he found it hurtful that his mother never paid him a compliment for all that hard work. It's poetic and fitting, then, that his most famous role as an actor eventually became Mr. Feeney, a character who became known for supporting and loving his students as they grew up. I love you all. Class dismissed. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.